this truly is going to be an unboxing. This brown box arrived uh, last week. Um, I haven't had a chance to open it yet because I've been working, uh, but I am now. Uh, I think I know what it is. Hopefully it is what I think it is, and uh, I'll tell you what all about it when I get in there. So, without further ado, Well, yep, it's exactly what I thought it was. This is the new Command and Colours medieval game. Um, right, so there you go. Oops, get rid of that shiny light. There it is, that's the box. Um, I must have ordered this on the P500 probably, I don't know, 18 months, two years ago. Um, obviously it's been printed, I knew it was on its way, but I didn't quite know when, and uh, here it is, it's arrived, so that's the front of the box, and the back of the box, those of you familiar with Commands and Colours will know the box, so uh, let's get it open and see what's in it. So here we are. Uh, inside, obviously, we've got our box. Lots and lots of wooden blocks, so some good stickering time going on. Uh, cards, usual cards. These are the um, order cards and whatnot that you uh, draw in order to do stuff. Dice, as ever. Uh, another, yet another rule book. Hopefully the rules will be pretty similar to uh, Ancients. But, uh, plenty of reading there. And we go with this. And then of course the various stickers. So these are all other stickers for the uh, different troops. So this is you got your uh, Byzantium, late Roman, as you can see, and if I'm not mistaken, it's the Sassanids. So, well, there's some Romans on there as well, but these must be the Sassanid Persian stuff. So we call it. Medieval, it's very very early medieval this particular starter pack. Um, so uh, yeah, and I love this. The train cards, all fairly standard command and colour stuff. Well, there's not that much terrain on this. Um, these are all the reference cards. I've not seen these before in the box, but there you go. You can cut these out. And the board. Ta da! So, yeah, that's um, Command and Colours Medieval. Just opened. Um, everything is pretty much as you'd expect. Really good stuff. Solid card. Um, no doubt the stickers will be stickery on pretty well. What I tend to do with the stickers is um, I stick them on, but then I give them a thin wash of PVA over the top, and that seems to make them stick better, because sometimes they curl up. Uh, it's a bit laborious, but um, it does work. And as I've got quite a bit of small-scale um, Byzantium, late Roman stuff anyway, um, I'll get some Sassanids and we can probably play it with figures eventually, but um, that's a project for another day because um, 
I don't have much time these days. Anyway, so there you go. Um, like I say, Crimson Colours, Medieval, out probably the end of last month. Uh, I just got mine. Um, I should be looking for the expansions as they come along. But yeah, quite looking forward to this. I might actually be taking this to Scotland this summer. Um, and we go on holiday and see if I can, uh, while they're captured in a cottage in the, nor in, in the Northern Highlands, um, maybe I can get the family to play. All right, well, catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>